Hi, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today we're going to be reading a true story about a wonderful Impressionist painter named Mary Cassatt. She is now recognized as one of the great Impressionist painters and her works are hanging in museums all around the world. So let's hear her story. It was written by Barbara Herkert and the paintings, I know this is a tricky last name, are by Gabby Swiatkowska. I hope I said that correctly. When Mary was a girl in Pennsylvania, she knew she'd be an artist one day. In 1860, proper girls weren't artists. They had polite hobbies, flower arranging, needlepoint. Not Mary. That must be Mary. Mary grew up tall and temperamental. The map of her fate etched in her mind. Just before her 16th birthday, she charged down Chestnut Street, raring to enroll in art school. Mary was first on the list. Mary studied hard at the academy and planned her next move. She had to travel abroad. A treasure trove of art awaited her in Paris. Her father grumbled, out of the question. Mary held her course. The Louvre Museum was Mary's classroom. She copied the old masters and dreamed of seeing her art in the celebrated show, The Salon. Impossible! Not for Mary. I would love to go to the Louvre Museum. Mary pressed her nose against a gallery window, absorbing pastel drawings by Edgar Degas. A riot of color. She smiled and later said, I saw art then as I wanted to see it. Mary swept jewel tones across her canvas. She rendered cropped angles, sparkling light. The salon judges found her new work hasty, her palette harsh. Bah! What did they know? The great Degas rapped on Mary's studio door. Join our band of independents, he proposed. We paint as we please. We break the judge's rules. Mary beamed. I began to live, she said. Mary painted what she saw. She captured glimpses of life. Her long hands flew, dabbing brilliant tones, lightning bolts of white. Mary attended shows at the theater, her sketchbook in hand. I wonder if these things here are some of her images that she painted. Hmm. Makes me wonder because of the rowboat. I'll bet they are. She strolled through museums, her sister by her side. Mary's outspoken opinions echoed down aisles lined with exotic Asian art.
Mary's family came to live with her in Paris. She painted her mother, her sister reading, sewing, drinking tea. Her father might have been a better model if only he'd stay awake. <laughs> Daddy sleeping. Colors splashed across Mary's canvas. Canary yellow, radiant pink, vibrant blue. Pastel strokes flurried over paper, sharp and blurry, straight and zigzagged. Mary produced a multiple multitude of prints, etchings, monotypes, working with Degas and on her own. For Mary, art was life. Life was art. Mary celebrated mothers and their babies in her paintings. She sought and found truth. Now her art hangs in fine museums. She proved that women can be great artists too. That's Mary. And back here is an entire biography about Mary. She was born in 1844. And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.